What's up guys, welcome back. For those of you who are new, I'm Daniel. Thanks for checking out the channel. Subscribe if you're not already. And today we're talking about product photography and working with brands, specifically Vessi Footwear, shoe company. So I brought in my buddy Caius, who's like big in the shoe game. He's got more shoes than I have anything. And he knows his stuff, so I think the first thing we should do is probably just like open these up and check them out. And like, you know way more about shoes than I do, so like I'm kind of looking to you, <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. So I'm kind of yeah. looking to you to like, give me what you think about the shoe, so. Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's do it. Open her up, it's all you, man. All right, packaging is nice and simple. Okay. All right. Wow, the first, First impression is that they're really light. You can tell right away since it's like a one piece upwards, it's probably going to be very form fitting, very comfortable. Um, it's thin enough that it's going to be quite breathable too. So I'm sure you can wear these in, in the summertime and with, with socks and you won't you won't be sweating your um, feet off. True. That's my first impression so far. Yeah, they're, they're like, I, like, I don't know much, but like in terms of shoes, like these things feel like super light. Like yeah. it's almost like you're holding nothing in your hand. Also completely waterproof. Oh. Yeah, so like that that kind of puzzles me. Yeah. It's like it's like a knit, but it's like 100% waterproof, which is I think pretty sweet. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to kind of test that out. Yeah, for uh, sure. Even, but the other yeah, thing that's great. cool about these shoes I found out is they're vegan. So oh, I'm not 100% yeah, exactly. sure what mm -hmm. that means, but I'm guessing there's like no mm -hmm. leather, no animal products on it. If there's no leather, then like the suede here, or I guess synthetic suede, yeah. it's like pretty well done. It doesn't feel too cheap. Yeah, it yeah. feels pretty sturdy and yeah, you know, it definitely, I mean, I haven't, we haven't tried these on yet, but like uh, it feels in hand that like it could kind of help lock your foot in place with the help of these, uh, these laces. Awesome, man. All right, so game plan. You're gonna toss these bad boys on. We are gonna go outside into the freezing cold and shoot. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think we're gonna do like a little bit of indoor product photography on like a backdrop first, and then we'll head out. So, and then once we're done shooting, I'm gonna get your opinion on like how they felt while you were wearing okay. them. Okay, yeah, cool. sounds good. Let's do it. Perfect. Might need these. Ooh. All right. Before we get to shooting, I just wanted to give you guys the lowdown on how I started working with Vessi Footwear. I know you see a lot of creators online nowadays like doing partnerships with Ford and Nike and Mercedes and all these huge brands and you're like, yeah, that makes sense. They've got a million followers, I get it. Now, I'm not a huge YouTuber. I'm not some social media influencer. I've got a small YouTube page and an even smaller Instagram. I reached out to these guys. I slid into their DMs and I fired them a message saying, listen guys, like I love your product. If you guys would be down to collaborate, I would love to take some product shots of your shoes for your Instagram, for whatever you may need. I also have a YouTube channel. I'd love to feature a review on the channel and you know show the behind the scenes of how I shot the product. And that was it. Someone actually messaged back and responded to me saying, hey Daniel, like, yeah, we'd love to work with you. And you know, they'll, they sent me the shoes and that was basically how it worked. Again, I don't have a huge social media following that would warrant brands reaching out to me and just, you know, begging for me to feature their stuff on my channel, but you have to try. If I can leave you guys with any one message at the end of this video is that you should be reaching out to these brands regardless of how big time or small time you may be. You know, you have a particular skill set and a lot of companies are looking for good photographers. If you have good work to display on your social media, then hell, they'll look at it and be like, yeah, this guy knows what he's doing, let's work with him. So, reach out, don't be afraid to try, regardless of who you are, or how good you are at what you do. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Wayne Gretzky, Michael Scott. Now let's go shoot this thing. All right, so for these shoes, I'm going with a white backdrop, and I know some of you watching will be like, oh, white backdrop, that's so boring. But, hear me out. White backdrop photography for product shots specifically is super important. Firstly, because it gives you a lot of flexibility if you wanna change the background, if you wanna uh, manipulate the photo in any way. It's a lot easier to do it with a white background than it would be for like pulling it out of a lifestyle shot and then doing all that extra work afterwards. It's a very controlled environment. You can do exactly what you want. So I'm able to edit these photos afterwards. And secondly, something that most people might not realize, and if you're a photographer who wants to get into product shots as an extra source of income, you need white product photography for a lot of the big resellers like Amazon, like eBay, 
they require a certain dimension of photo with a white backdrop to showcase the product itself. No distractions. Lifestyle shots and stuff like that, that's just a bonus, but you need white backdrops, and that's why I'm going with this today, and we're gonna do a couple funky things, so let's get into it. All right, so one of the biggest selling features on the shoes is the fact that they're 100% waterproof, and I figured in the product shots, we might as well incorporate that somehow, and I figured the best way to do it would be like a quick cinemagraph. So, The plan is to take this turkey baster with water in it and drizzle it down the actual shoe while the camera's on the tripod and we'll turn that into a cinemagraph later. Let's go. All right, so we got the shoes on this old frame that I found in the house with like the leaning tower of Pisa on it. I'm just gonna use that to catch the water as it's coming down. And I'm gonna get nice and tight so we can focus on the detail in the shoes and then you'll just see water droplets coming down. That's the game plan. Let's see how well I can execute that. All right, so we're about to head outside. I forgot one thing, hang on a sec. All right, so in Canada, in January, it's like minus 30 out, so we're gonna try and shoot this as quick as possible. The reason I have the bucket is because we're gonna pour it into the middle of the street and create like a puddle, get like a reflection. I'm also gonna get Kai to like step in it so that the product photography kind of reflects the waterproof features of the shoes. And I'm already frozen, so let's do this. <laughs> So that did not exactly go according to plan. Uh, it's so cold outside, it's minus 18 degrees Celsius. The water that I poured froze almost instantly. Uh, I think in post we'll be able to salvage it, but we had to get the shots real quick and come back in and now we'll, uh, we'll get your thoughts on yeah, how the shoes are. All right, so aside from freezing your bag off, yeah. and I still, like, I still can't feel my fingers, uh, what did you think of the shoes? Um, the shoes were very comfortable and surprisingly my feet didn't freeze as much as I thought they would like I'm, I'm wearing like they're not like thermal socks or anything I'm not double socking and like I was in these outside in what negative 18 and, and with like the wind chill it felt like almost like negative 30 or something like that and like yeah, like I, I felt fine. Which is crazy to me because yeah. like they're such a breathable shoe but like mm -hmm. for you to be warm and did your yeah. feet get wet at all? Nope. And we, we were we're stepping in inside snow. snow we were kind of ice, like yeah. And, yeah, jumping around, jumping on the car and stuff. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome, man. Um, so yeah, thanks for coming out. That's about it. Thank you guys for checking it out, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. See ya. Oh hey guys, if you're still watching, then thank you because obviously you're a beauty and a great fan. Now I just wanted to drive home that part. One more time, if you want to work with these brands, just reach out to them. There's absolutely no harm in reaching out to these people and asking if you can shoot their product or if they want to collaborate. Take that to the bank. Remember to subscribe and like the video so we can keep crushing it in 2019. Love you guys.
You know what's funny? These are like spring slash summer shoes and it's like minus a thousand outside. I can't even wear them. Not yet anyway. Do you guys ever have something that like you just love and you just can't wait to use but then you can't use it? I feel like that happens to me all the time. Happened to me when I got my Ronin. Now I got these shoes. It's just, it's a travesty. Okay, go, get out of here. Get on out of here, you, get out of here.